We don't kill them. Nigerian army revealed shocking thing they do to Boko people captured during battle. The Nigerian army has above reports it enlisted former Boko people. This is according to a communique by the director of Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Onyema Mwancheko. The army spokesman noted that the statement is a reaction to a video making the rounds on the internet, which attempted to draw a conclusion from the collapse of the Afghanistan military and tried very hard to relate it to the ongoing surrender by the Boko people Islamic State West African province, Boko people in Nigeria. But the army said that although the situation in Afghanistan calls for concerns, the security agency is not desperate and won't recruit former Boko people. There are teaming able-bodied Nigerians that are willing to join the NA and genuinely help in fight against terrorism and other violent crimes, the army added. The NA, therefore, is not desperate for prospective recruits to stoop solo and engage the services of former Boko people. As a general rule, it is not even recommended to absorb former fighters into the services of irregular military. Surrendered Boko people will be received, processed, and passed to the appropriate government agency, saddled with the responsibility of handling them. It further said, while urging Nigerians to leave security matters for experts, the army asked them to focus on contributing towards nation building instead of engaging in a campaign of falsehood. The NA wishes to state that the campaign of falsehood impact upon by some individuals who do not wish the nation well cannot distract its personnel from their resolve to bring an end to the violent crimes in the country. General Umwachuku Kominiku stated, Rubbish. Rubbish. See, let me tell you, this shows that they, the Nigerian army, are even the Boko people themselves. What are you then doing with them if you don't kill them? What are you then doing with them? Okay, you don't kill them, but they kill you. Oh, that is the instructions given to you people to capture them, not to kill them. In the process of capturing them, they end up killing you. Is that not stupidity? Why will you say you are not killing them? People who are in gun battle with you, trying to target you and kill you in a gun battle. And you, on your own stupidity, you are dodging their shootings, trying to capture them and hand them over to your superior. It's craziness. It's craziness. Don't you think that your superior is looking for a way to get you killed? To get you killed by the Boko people by giving you instruction not to kill them. It is crazy. No wonder. No wonder. We, we hear that, uh, that uh, uh, no, st some battalions were sent to, to Sambisa to go and fight a war. And over 100 or 200 of these battalions were killed. Can you imagine? How many are the Boko people? Only 50 Boko people will keep battalions. Is that possible? Is that possible if not for the crazy instruction given to them by their superior not to kill the Boko people? I, 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 I used to ask this sometimes as I, and I used to wonder, why? What is happening? What's happening? A whole Nigerian army. It's impossible. It's impossible. I can't believe this. Something is wrong somewhere. And it's, it, and it's not showing. Come on, Nigerians. You can see everything appearing to be, to be true now. Because everything is not appearing to be true. We can't be deceiving ourselves and be, and be, and be, and be trying to, 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 to defend ourselves at the same time. It's, it, it, it's very, very impossible. You see, I, I was telling a friend of mine some, some time ago that, that if you want to see the criminals, the, the professional criminals in this country, the Nigerian army, I'm telling you, Forget that they are, that they are, they are the ones um, giving the, the, the responsibility to check, to, check, to, check, to check crimes. They are the worst criminals we have in Nigeria. They are the notorious criminals. Didn't you see how they, 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 go, they, they go about you know, disguising and um, supplying weapons to those Boko people? 
How many of them have been caught? How many of them have been caught supplying ammunition? Eh? Supplying ammunition, supplying army uniforms. Or the, haven't, haven't you been seeing the book of people putting on army uniforms? Haven't you been seeing them? Have you asked yourself, how come those army uniforms? Who gave it to them? Eh? Did they sew it themselves? Did they went to the market to buy those things? Can the Boko people go to the market? Can they go to the military and uh, supermarket and buy those those camels? If not that, uh, someone in, in the Nigerian army is supplying them all those things. Come on, let's tell ourselves the truth. All these things are what we are saying. The Nigerian army is too corrupt. Same goes to the Nigerian police. So, so this problem we are having right now, I tell you that it started from the military. Instead of only military, they are the cause of our problems. They are the reason why we are suffering. They are the reason for these insecurity problems in Nigeria. They are the reason after they were going about with, uh, with, with vehicles saying that they are going for Yahoo Yahoo boys. They are going for, uh, uh, for, 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 for ritualists. They want to capture them. Whereas they themselves are the most criminal. They are the most criminal. There is an adage that says, remove what is in your eyes before removing the eye, what is in the other person's eyes. That is the message. That is the message. Our Nigerian army, they are criminals. Criminals of the millennium. Criminals. So we have to be scared of them. Seriously. I can't, I can't, I can't defend any of them. I can't defend them. Look at, look at what they, they, they're saying. Hmm. My dear viewers, enough is enough. It, that's why I'm saying it that it is better for Nigerians, Nigerians to come up and come out and speak up. Speak up. Speak up without fear. Don't be afraid. Show yourself. Face your fears. Face your fears. Challenge them. You understand? Yeah. So please and please and please and please, still on this same matter, I still believe in your own opinion and your ideas. I still believe that you can do it right. Do you understand? Let me hear from you. Let me know what you have to say about this that has just been taken note of by the um, Brigadier Nwachuku, one of the uh, generals in the Nigerian army. Because to me, I'm not contented in any way. I'm not contented at all. In, in fact, I am very, very angry with what has just been said. How can you be sparing their lives? People that are killing and capturing our, our youth. Look at look at life Sha Shaibo. Till this very moment, the poor girl have not returned to her parents. A little girl they captured from infants. Oh my God! God will punish all these people one by one. Punish them one by one. Let me hear from you, okay? So please, if you're new, click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.